Westminster Abbey is known as the House of God and the House of Kings, where God is worshipped every day, and where many great men and women are buried in all memorials. Here has taken place the coronation of the kings and queens of England and the United Kingdom, since William the First was crowned here on Christmas Day, 1066. Here Her Majesty the Queen Queen was crowned on the 2nd of June, 1953. And every day thousands of people from all over the world are welcome as visitors and builders. Here we honour the unknown warrior. His body was brought here in 1920 from a battlefield cemetery in Walden Grass and given a state view. His presence recalls to mind the world wars and conflicts of the past century in which the forces of the Crown, together with those of the United States of America, have been engaged alongside those of our allies. Here we pray for all those who have given their lives in the cause of peace. Here we pray for those who strive on our behalf for justice, freedom, and reconciliation. Here we thank God for the peace and friendship that bind our nations together. Mr. President, I invite you to lay your hands in honor of the honorable Lord and of all the representatives at this as the President contemplates the unknown warrior. On the pillar to the left of our picture hangs the Congressional Medal of Honor given by the people of the United States through their Congress, a symbol of extreme valor to their British ally. Who would explore both heaven and earth in a single piece? Let the design of thy great love lighten upon the waste of our wraths and sorrows, and give peace among nations, peace in our dwellings, and peace in our hearts, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In this holy place, let us pray for all who bear responsibility for the government of the nation. Almighty God, you alone give us wisdom and understanding. Inspire, we pray, the hearts of all to whom thou hast committed the government of the nations. Give them the vision of truth and justice, and guide them so to temper justice with mercy, that by their counsels the nations may work together in fellowship and goodwill, and thy holy church throughout the world may be free to serve them. In unity and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us pray for the peoples of the United States of America and of the United Kingdom. Eternal God, fountain source of all authority and wisdom, hear our prayer for Elizabeth, our Queen, and for the President of the United States of America. Grant them grace as symbols of loyalty and unity for all their people. Inspire their governments with vision, understanding, and integrity. Give to the nation's legislatures and judiciaries wisdom and skill, imagination and energy, that all may live in peace and harmony, truth and prosperity, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Chorus of the questions from you will sing, Lift thine eyes, I men will sing from this oratory last year.
but grant the living grace to the departed rest, to the church, to the queen, the commonwealth, and all mankind, peace and comfort, and to our sins life and lust. Blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you, and remain. A time of contemplation and reflection with the help of the choristers of Westminster Abbey.